Good morning everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills coming to you from Canada and today I want to talk about something that uh, initially I found uh, very disconcerting. Probably made me and almost 90% of women out there quite angry and uh, probably justifiably so. We had uh, what they termed an International Women's Day Award Ceremony and it turns out that uh, the award was given to a male. So what a farce. What a farce. So what is the issue here? At first I was quite angry and as a woman, understandably so, um, it's uh, not enough that they allow males who are physically stronger to compete in women's sports and win every time. No, that wasn't enough for them. It isn't enough to try to claim that uh, men can give birth. No, that isn't enough for them either. It isn't enough to state that we're equal. Men and women are equal. No, I guess we're not equal. We'll never be equal as long as there's no place for women. And if there's no place for women, and especially on what is, should be celebrated as uh, an international awards ceremony for women, <laughs> and it is given to a pseudo-woman, and I don't mean to be disrespectful here, and I don't really have an issue with uh, people with gender dysphoria. I, I think that they have a, enough of a tough row to hoe, but that doesn't mean that they have a right to um, wipe us off the face of the map and say that they're the females that should be honored and real females have no place in this whatsoever. So, yes, I was angry, <clears throat> probably understandably so, like so many of you. And when I sat back and thought about it, I realized that anger was probably the wrong emotion. I suspect that what drives all of this is fear. It's got nothing to do with uh, superior superiority or... Um, men wanting to be women, it, it's, it's got nothing to do with gender issues, it is more an issue of men fear women. And they fear women's strengths, and women do have strengths. We may not be physically stronger, but we do have strengths, and they try to minimize them, and they try to uh, claim that they don't exist. I've just read an article recently where they say that women's intuition is not a real thing. It's just that women have been taught to rely on intuition, where men were taught to subdue it. Um, what, whether that's scientifically proven any more than the fact that women have stronger intuition is still another factor, you know. Um, but once again, it, it's been known that women have stronger intuition. It's also pretty common knowledge that women have quite the heavy burden and possibly a much heavier one than men. Yes, men go to war, but these days women go to war too, and I think they always have. I think in cases where it was necessary, the women fought alongside their men. Women um, take 90% of the uh, child-rearing responsibilities on, uh, initially because they're built for it. 
and men are not. Doesn't matter how many fake prosthesis um, Buttigieg wears, and I have seen a, a meme where he's got his child up against fake breasts. Yeah, okay. Um, so initially, because we are built for it, we actually carry the child, we actually give birth to the child, and then we nurture the child. Usually, you know, in 99.9% .9 of the cases for the first, maybe up to five years, and maybe a little bit less than that, maybe a little bit more than that. But certainly the mother's influence is the first, and it starts with the mother's milk if not sooner. So, and, and when you look at the educational system where they're trying to indoctrinate children in manners that most parents would not uh, approve of, you're finding that a lot of families are now training giving their children an in-house education. Uh, that's not as common in Canada as what it is in the U.S., but, uh, and that role is, once again, mostly taken up by the female of the household. So her work is the greater work. Her um, support of the family is much greater. She has a stronger intuition, whether they want to admit it or not. Uh, women have strengths and they have abilities that should be honored. And if they're not honored, I can only suggest that it is a fear that is creating that situation. I don't think that there's anything else. If women have been kept down throughout the years, it's because men are intimidated by them. And men will. Folks, uh, this is not to put you guys down, but if you don't support your women, you're only destroying your own happiness. You're only destroying your own greatness because a woman who loves you will support you in your dreams and your wishes too uh, and put aside her own feelings. Now, if that is not mutual, it comes to the point where we'll leave you behind. We have to go forward. We cannot allow this nonsense to continue. Women have to unite, and we will. I'm going to suggest that it is time, ladies, that we don't accept this nonsense. And the sad part is... <laughs> An award given to a man was given by a woman, the wife of the President of the United States gave an award to a man for Woman's Day. How sad, how pitiful, how pathetic. Sorry, Jill, you're a loser. Anyway, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, <laughs> my two cents worth, and this is not to knock men. I love men. I adore men. But this is stupid, and it's time it ends. Anyway, folks, have a great day. Bye for now.